I have been an artist entrepreneur since I was a young teenager. I have spent my life making my own jobs and you can too. My name is Kathleen Laziza and I am the executive director of Micro Museum. This series is called Make It Your Own. It is designed to encourage people to use their talents for their own personal economic development. Because in 21st century America, there are no jobs. Nobody owes you a job. You have to make your own job. And this is what artists do every single day. This series is not advocating that you personally become an artist, but rather that you learn to think like an artist. Listen to these artists talk about their experiences. Episode 1, Know Who You Are. Ever since I started doing what I'm doing right now, I have this tremendous amount of self-doubt, tremendous amount of hesitation, like I can't even explain how much. And it literally like it vibrates in my cells. Like every step I make is like, yes, no, maybe, yes, no, maybe. But somehow I go on this bridge, you know, that I commit suicide every time. And you know what I did? I was like recently, I was talking to my friend and uh, I was like, hey, dude, we gotta figure it out. We have a long way to go. We haven't even achieved our biggest things yet. I'm gonna die with this self doubt and everything. And he's like, yeah, listen, I think it's not gonna change. Why don't we just embrace it? Maybe they're thinking, well, how can I make this trip a little bit different for myself, um, how can I make it unique, even if I'm the only one who cares or is satisfied, because I feel like a lot of the times that's what we do, we do ultimately just to please ourselves. I have a, where I work right now, I have a window on the street, and I stick stuff out in that window. I like making people think about what's behind the window. I went from just being a drummer to touring for years to just doing session work to producing. You know, there did come a point where I said, all right, how can I maximize all of this? Mm -hmm. And it's when I started 825 Records, which is, uh, we, specialize, we specialize in artist development. Mm -hmm. The way I work is, is just very intuitive. I don't think about my feelings when I'm doing work. It's just an idea comes and I have to do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it just, it's only later, I think, that I realize what the feelings were that are, mm -hmm. that are underneath the work. But I think the idea comes first and then um, I realize what the feelings were later mm -hmm. on. So I'm, I'm sort of even being instructed mm -hmm. by my own work. So more I think like I have priorities and I have missions. Like I don't even think about like, I don't even think about it as activism. I think about it as like my job. If a thought or a feeling is strong enough that it can inspire and literally become a physical reality, that's, that's powerful. And again, if you're approaching that in all sincerity and truth, and not mimicking and uh, w with, a, with an end goal in mind, but allowing the process to be what it's supposed to be. Uh, it, it is something vital and uh, living. This idea of where, the, where my impact is happening, and I think uh, uh, Outer impact on the world uh, happens at every level, and my ego wants it to happen at great, big, huge, spectacular spectacle levels. And the last year I've been working on letting go of that and going with more like Jamie the, the music box, you know, the, the, the and just let, letting, letting that be um, the statement. So for me, it's been working with simpler and simpler light forms because light and time are really my two mediums. Uh, 
And so it's, it's been going to the, the purer and purer form of just like a single bulb kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This is a form for me to be able to, to tell people what's actually going on mm -hmm. in, in my world, yeah. be, it, be it internal things or external things. Um, and I, I think, you know, again, to go back to the whole, it, it being important to, to be a voice, you know, like I, I don't know if I speak for everyone, but I know that I speak for, I definitely speak for people, some people that don't have a voice. So the fact that I'm able to, to get up on that soapbox, if you want to call it that, and, have people hear it, and the fact that I've been able to do it where you get people from cultures that are completely different than, than ours. I've been playing like around the world, and if, if I'm that ambassador to them knowing what my world is like, I mean, I feel like, I don't know if it's my job, but I just feel like- It, I, does, I, I, it feels like it's part yeah, of it. Yeah, I feel like it's part of it. Yeah. 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 I don't think this is just me personally. I think a lot of times there can be some kind of jarring experience, mm -hmm. an unhappy or unpleasant experience in life um, that causes you to shift into opening up in that way. Mm -hmm. And then maybe that's part of what sends people mm -hmm. into being more devoted to understanding and working with their own creative impulse. It's giving yourself credit for tiny little things. I got up this morning. I, you know, I'm I'm really good at getting that seat on the subway. I mean, even like little 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 things um, that you don't give yourself credit for. That can giving yourself all that credit can can build up. It's really hard to give yourself credit for the big things. So the little things will help hold up the big things. But then in a way, like I've had to make uh, normal, <laughs> I've had to like, what is it? I don't know, shape, you know, make lemonade out of lemons kind of thing. So I, I don't know, you know what I mean? That's part of the creativity of who I am. Here are three steps to remember. Step one, look deep inside yourself. Decide what you'd like to do and do it as much as you can. Step two, success comes from your sense of humor and your sense of curiosity. Step three, if you learn something new, change your actions. To learn more about this series, make it your own, visit micromuseum.com.